Where the hell have you been? At the club. And I have a couple of very annoyed golf buddies. Plastic surgeons don't usually get called off the fifth tee. Well, they do if they've been sharing liquid lunches with the likes of Bernadette Lusich. I never realised you were so territorial, Dominic. She recorded the entire conversation. Don't answer that. That'll be Andrew. Well, you're whining about late payments for special ops? She played it to him. We are in deep shtuck. And how do you plan to get us out of it? Not me. You. Well, I'll certainly be protecting my own reputation. But why should I want to help you? Yes. Does that answer your question? That buys you a favour or two? I assume you want me to lie. Through your teeth. And be convincing. Dr. De Vrace, if you'd be kind enough to call me when you get this message. Thank you. Do you mind? You go ahead with your paper. I don't want to interrupt. Thank you. Oh, nice place, this, isn't it? Thought I was the only person who knew about it. Oh, it's getting warm, isn't it? I seem to be putting on 16 layers every morning and then shedding them like a snake. Still readjusting, huh? Oh, well, I never really thought about what I wore in Africa. Just finding something vaguely clean was a feat. I can imagine. The way my patients lived. We don't know how lucky we are. Oh, I know, big cliche, but it makes you think, doesn't it? All our affluence, and we still have some of the same health problems. STDs, for instance. Did Craig tell you I've had feedback on my research proposal? No, I don't think he mentioned it. It's nothing official yet, but David Bracken's on the research committee. He's good. Hmm. Well, he was kind enough to ring and say he'd read the abstract. That's encouraging. Fingers crossed. Would you like some of this? I'll never finish it. No, thank you. Have you thought about private funding? Drug companies and so on. Who you think it's worth pursuing? Well, I definitely think you should give yourself a shot. Mm. Hang in there, mate. Nearly done. Thanks, so. eh? That's the worst of it over. Let it get some air for a minute and I'll get some cream for it. Thanks. He said it's been like that for weeks. I don't know how he put up with it. Yeah, well, he's not big on the personal hygiene. Vinny, a word. I'll get that cream. We don't make fun of our patients here. I wasn't. Your job is to treat the man, not to pass judgment. Yeah, but how I... you behave outside the hospital is your business. When you're in here, you behave like a professional. You got that? Yes. And feels that. You were a bit off. No. See, she's not down on me about work. She's down on me because of Shannon. You sound surprised. Take a seat. I've spoken to Johan de Vries, and he's put my mind at rest. But you heard what he said on the phone? A middle-aged man trying to impress a pretty young secretary. So that's it? You're just going to take his word? Unless you have something more solid? I'll consider the matter closed. What about the damage to my reputation? Your reputation's safe enough. Thanks to Bernadette, we've averted a potential problem before it got out of hand. But you're going to have to keep better control of your staff in the future. No more questionable surgery. The protocols are in place. Good. I'll be watching with interest. Lucky last. Oh, I'm sweet. Toss it. Plenty more where that came from. Shouldn't I be paying you or something? I'm a sharing, caring sort of guy. <laughs> Peace, man. Just don't dob me into your boyfriend, eh? Don't worry. Back to work then, eh? How many we sell? A uh, couple of dozen, I think. <sighs> Listen, they get on a normal night of the dogs. So we work harder. We need a gimmick. Dance party at the dogs. Gotta be there. Not my thing. <laughs> I 
How much? 12 bucks. It's gonna be huge. Bonus. Don't forget your ticket. And tell all your friends. I think we found our gimmick. Here you are. One pay slip. Oh, ta. And, um, Andrew's signature. He's authorised the medical supplies you asked for and Dennis is packing them for you. You're a star. <laughs> you have a good trip. You deserve it. I'm going to be working, you know. That's your story. You stick to it. <laughs> meet with the car? Uh, ten minutes. See you when I get back. Okay. <clears throat> oh, we were quite needy, so I thought I'd write a hand over for the night shift before I knock off. It's already been done. There you go, mate. Last decent coffee you'll have in a while. Uh, they do have coffee machines in Southland. <laughs> well, they haven't got Shannon at the controls, though, have they? I won't get a better cup than that. Thanks. While well, I'm through, are uh, you still going to come with me to pick up my turn too? Yeah, just got to wait for Tama to get back. Hey, Ru, what are you doing right now? Oh, going home, pitching out. Right then, you're coming with us. For sure. We'll see. Right, let's go. Yours. Slacking off in the middle of the day, are we? I've been home. The kitchen's all packed up. Well done, you. I should have got stuck in sooner. Well, it's done now. That's what matters. Yeah, it's going to be weird living in a new place. Yeah, weird and wonderful. Mm. You'll see. So this is your idea of fun. Hey, where is your follow through? What? You help the guy find a place to stay? Then what? Well, aren't they feeding him at the boarding house? You don't know? What kind of social worker would you make? So I'm not dedicated. Shoot me. Can't we just drop all this stuff off? Look, because then we wouldn't know how it was going then, would we? Because we could find them anyway. What, Peter? Hey, babe! No, look, if you go in there, I'm not going to see you for another few hours. Oh, come on, you know I've got to keep up with the sounds. No, I see you in the gap in half now. Okay. Hey, not you, mister. Look. Oh, hey, Greg. How's it going, bro? You sitting all right at the new place? Yeah. They treating you right? They made me go outside for a smoke, but yeah. Yeah, we just uh, brought you some stuff, you know, food and stuff, shaving kit. Oh, well, mm -hmm. thanks, bro. You're the man. Is it true? What? That Dr. DeFraze has resigned. I hadn't heard. Did you just stop my placement in place six next week? And if he's quit and Chris isn't there, then who's going to supervise me? I'll look into it, OK? Excuse me. Status on Mr. Sanderson? Uh, waiting on bloods. And I'm not running STD checks if that was going to be your next question. Ah, uh, it wasn't? You know, I'm not crazy about having you checking up on every move I make. And I'm not crazy about having to do it. But your mind hasn't entirely been on the job, and until I'm convinced... Sarah! You left this behind at lunch. Oh, I forget my head some days. I thought you might need it. It's getting a bit cold out there. Thanks. Those two are on together. Wouldn't say much for Andrew's judgment if they are. 